Hi, welcome to clickmyproject.com. Request the title is BPO Management System. It's more an abstract. The BPO Management System is customized software to develop a systemized way of managing the happenings involved in the organization. This project also makes the employee friendly environment as it provides overall work status of the employees and the work to be done at present to the employees. The system also covers ongoing process in the organization to the admin along with the individual employee or status. The BPO management system objective is to provide a system which manages the employee details, employee tasks and employee activity done in a company depending upon the employee's attendance and its calculation which is very huge. The users will consume less amount of time through computerized system rather than working manually. The system will take care of all activities like managing each employee's attendance, the number of leaves taken by that particular employee and our calculation in a very quick manner. This project is helpful in maintaining the employee's record, employee's task, calculating the salary for each employee and it also focuses on each employee's attendance and number of leaves taken per month and per year. This is also a possibility of checking salary report at any time so that it does not lead to any miscalculation. Let's look at the project. First, employee will register by providing employee details such as employee name, employee ID, contact number, address and designation qualification of employees. After giving employee details, employee can log in by providing employee username and password then the employee details will submit into a admin admin will log in by providing username and password and admin will assign task to employee by selecting the employee id and employee name and employee will view the task and analyze the task and will update the status of the task and task status will be saved into a database and task details and the status of these tasks will be maintained by admin and admin will view the status of the task which is assigned to employee and will manage the attendance and pay calculation details and attendance details will be saved into the database and also pay calculation details will be saved into a salary details database finally admin will generate a report for employee details salary details and attendance details task details Next execution of project. Let's start execution. And this is the home page of the project. First, HR will log in by providing username and password. Clicking sign in button, we can log in into the panel. And when clicking login, it will be with the current login time. Set up the system. This is the home page of the HR and HR will view the employee details and assign task to the employee and HR will view the task details and view the status of the task and we will calculate the attendance details and we will calculate the pay. First employee will view the employee details by clicking employee details button here and view the employee details that, that is registered employee details here again go to the home page and the HR will assign the task to employee here so for that we have to give the task title and status of the task status is open status and task description and the priority there is two priority here, highest priority and lowest priority. We can select the highest priority here. And we have to give the project name. And we have to select the assigned date of the task. So I am selecting the date. And task assigned to how to select the employee name. So I am selecting the employee name. And we have to select the employee email ID. These details are given by HR. As we have to give the task uh, details, title, status, and description, and we have to give the priority. 
and project name assign date of the task and task assigned to which employee and employee id of the selected employee by clicking assign task we can save the details into a database home page and here next we can view the assigned task list task list here so by clicking task details we can view the task details so these are the uh, details of tasks which are assigned to employees as uh, we can view the task title status and the description and priority assigned it and assigned to employee and the employees uh, updated the status means it will the solution will be updated automatically and next move on to home page and next we can view the status of the task here so by clicking task status we can view the task here and here we can check the solution details of the task and these are the task and these are the solution of the given task next to home page and next is uh, utterance details and utterance details uh, will be uh, gathered by selecting the email id of the particular user so i am selecting the email id and these are the entry time and exit time of the user for that we have to log out and log into the user panel that is employee panel for that we have to get the admin username and password and this uh, entry time uh, will be taken into the entry time of the employee and log out time will be taken as exit time of the employee and here we can view the assigned task of the employees just uh, assigned by hr so by clicking view task we can view the task details assigned to the employee and i am uh, i'm selecting the any any of the detail here the details of selected record will be viewed into task id and the id of task and title of task and status and description of priority and project name assigned date task assigned to the current employee and employee id here we can update the solution here so the solution is you have to give the proper server name to uh, to remove the connection error so now i am updating the solution to the task details by clicking the update button so updated successfully and we can log out the employee panel and again we are log into a hr panel so i am providing username and password logged in successfully and next move on to utterance details and when i am clicking the employee id that is mail id i can get the details of employee so this is uh, the currently uh, employee time and entry time and exit time of the employee which are updated by the employee and these are the number of days uh, left and number of uh, days left to on total days is uh, the one so i am saving the attendance details into a database on next uh, pay calculation in pay calculation we can calculate the salary details of the particular employee so i am selecting the employee id and employee name and basic salary so i am getting the total of um, total salary of the selected employee here the pf hra esa will be reduced from the employee main salary so i am saving these details into a database uh, finally employee salary is calculated based on the performance and finally we can log out the hr panel